Aquarius, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. This is going to be your love reading for July 2024. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you need a personal reading, feel free to contact me. Everything you need to know to do so is in the description box to the video. All right, guys. So your energy this week, you have the three of swords, ten of wands reversed. So not, not the happiest, not very pleasant energy. Um, you look like if this is resonating for you to be um, in a hurt place, maybe feeling betrayed, feeling like there's this hurt that's been weighing on you. It's been dragging you down. It's draining you. Wands reverse could have been dealing with a fire sign. Actually, that's a knight. It's not a king, it's a knight. So, with having the knight of wands reversed and the three of swords, there might have been a situation that um, was just a hookup, or somebody was just using you for um, lust based purposes and you got hurt. Or they did, you know, whatever. It could be the other way around. Um, but it looks like third party, but it looks like whoever the third party is, it doesn't look to be serious. Like, this isn't the energy of somebody being in a whole other relationship. This is the energy of somebody potentially cheating, but it just being like a one night stand. Um, or somebody hooking up with somebody thinking maybe it was going to be more and it, it wasn't. Yeah, um, there's a lot of really immature energy here. Immature, inconsistent. Another, yeah, there's there's definitely third party shit, no doubt. We have the three of pentacles reversed. We have the three of swords um, and a lot of immature user-like behavior. Um, could be with a coworker even. Somebody could have hooked up with somebody at their job. Either way, there's some kind of mess there. Recent past, you have the Ace of Cups, though. So this is, you know, things were good in the recent past. This is a new beginning in love. This is like a big emotional outpouring. In the present, you have the Five of Pentacles reversed. So this is um, somebody who previously rejected you showing back up or somebody that you rejected trying to come back oh there goes the candle the wheel reversed could have been just a connection where or you know not a connection could have been a situation or a person where it just wasn't the right time for you guys there were too many obstacles that led to you rejecting them or them rejecting you but they're trying to show back up um, could have been a situation where, for whatever reason, it felt like the wrong time. Somebody felt like their hands were tied, like they just maybe were trapped somewhere else. But somebody is not feeling that way anymore. Somebody's feeling, like, liberated. Um, free to do what they want, you know. Page of Swords. Um... If you have social media, that's like somebody checking out your social media, maybe asking people about you, maybe checking to see if you're single. Um, it's not just that, though. Like, this is somebody actually saying something, actually communicating. Yeah, Four of Swords. You have the Three and the Four of Swords here. So, definitely some heartbreak, but there is healing here. Um, could be a situation where somebody that you rejected or rejected you checking up on you to see if maybe you've healed yet to see if you guys are okay on speaking terms not on speaking terms ace of cups reverse somebody that you feel like you missed an opportunity with or they feel like they missed an opportunity with you there's definite healing happening here though Um, and here in the immediate future, 
Uh, guys, I forgot to tell you, I will answer a yes or no question for you at the end. So throughout the reading, try to think of a question you have for me and I can answer that for you at the end. It'll be the very last thing that I do. Anyway, immediate future, page of pentacles. So this is like a new offer coming in, um, a new conversation. Slow moving, not that big of a deal, but something that is, you know, meant to go somewhere. That's the intent behind it. And the three of wands. So yeah, it could be somebody at a distance. Um, maybe you're going to travel to them. Maybe they're going to travel to you. Maybe you meet someone on a vacation. Judgment reversed. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of energy here of um, something that has already happened with somebody and the door's not fully closed yet, or they don't want it to be, or you don't want it to be, or something here. There needs to be a final decision made on something, and it hasn't been made yet. Um, so this is about just looking towards the future. What do you want your future to look like? Is it time to close the door on something? Is it time to give something another chance? You know, obviously up to you. Your potential challenge, the High Priestess Reverse. There's something here that you're not listening to, something with your intuition, um, maybe signs, synchronicities, dreams, whatever. Something is trying to tell you something. Um, <laughs> that sounded so ridiculous. Something is trying to tell you something. The Hanged Man. You could be waiting for a sign or the person you're dealing with is waiting for a sign, waiting to see, you know, what you should do here. King of Wands reverse. That's the one that I thought we had in the beginning. Um, definitely a lot of fire energy here if you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But there's also a lot of energy of somebody being um, there for the wrong reasons. You know, just lust-based and probably kind of controlling, demanding, acting like a spoiled brat. Your advice is a seven of pentacles. What should you be investing in? This is investing, um, making the effort, but into what? Because this kind of looks like trash, honestly. Three of cups. It's being more social, hanging out, getting out there, putting yourself out there with your friends, family, whatever, meeting new people, celebrating the Hermit Virgo. Coming out of isolation and allowing yourself to be seen. If you are dealing with a Virgo, looks to be good. Um, you could be meeting a new Virgo if you get yourself out of the house. And the Ace of Wands, yeah. There's a new beginning. There's like, there's a reason to be excited here. You just have to allow it to happen. And there's a lot of things that need to happen here, probably with you, since you know, Three of Swords is coming up in your own energy with the Four of Swords here. There's a lot happening with you where you just need to take some time for yourself, get your energy back, get your motivation back, learn to be excited again, and then put yourself back out there. Okay, let's get you an oracle or two from this deck. This is like if you have somebody in mind and you wanna know how they feel and they're not telling you for whatever reason, this is what they would say to you if they could. Whoever's on your mind, Aquarius, take a deep breath, focus on that person. What does this person have to say to Aquarius? What does this person have to say? I love you. Wow. Okay. Let's get one more. I love you unconditionally. Ha! Look at those two messages. I love you and I love you unconditionally. I have never pulled those both together. I, actually, I, I barely pull those two at all. All right, so let's expand on that. Who is saying this? And I'm just gonna keep it all as the same person because it's pretty much the same message. Who is saying this to you, Aquarius? What is this about? potentially a fire sign. Again with the fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody who's very attracted to you. Four Pentacles reverse. Somebody who's going to start to be more emotionally open, whereas they might have been closed off before. Potentially a water sign as well. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, let's get you in the other signs. So who do we have here so far? We have, I mean, a lot of fire. I said that, but let's see what the majors are. 
Virgo's your only major, honestly. Okay, let's do this. Aquarius dealing with Aries. Oh, and we got Aries card reversed. So if you're dealing with an Aries, they're not exactly being themselves right now. And they're being um, kind of like afraid. They're like afraid to take a chance with you. Aquarius dealing with Taurus. Someone is walking away from that connection. Aquarius dealing with Gemini. Aquarius and Gemini. That's cute. So this is like a new person, a new love interest, um, a new conversation, just real minor, but genuine feelings starting. Aquarius and Cancer. That's just a lot of repeated patterns, a whole lot of effort with no result. Aquarius and Leo. Aquarius and Leo. You guys um, are either going to level up that connection or you're going to realize that it's run its course. So where it's at now, it's completed a cycle. It's ready to move to the next level or to move on. Aquarius and Virgo, which you have in this reading. Oh, um, you might have blocked one. They might have blocked you. That's a lack of communication or it's just sex based. Aquarius and Libra. Aquarius and Libra. That's a brand new beginning, Ace of Cups. So they want a new beginning with you. If there's genuine emotion, they are emotionally available. Aquarius and Scorpio. Aquarius and Scorpio. They've got a lot of anxiety and a lot of depression around the connection or just in their life in general. Um, they're just in a kind of sad, stuck place. Aquarius and Sagittarius. There's that judgment reversed. Um, somebody needs to really make a final decision on that and keep the door closed once it's closed in either direction. Aquarius and Capricorn. Um, there's attraction there. You guys have a lot of fun. It's just not serious, not consistent, probably just hook up. Aquarius and Aquarius. In reverse. So there's going to be something revealed about that connection that has been previously hidden. Um, doesn't have to be anything bad. It's just they could be just revealing some things that you didn't know before. Aquarius and Pisces. Aquarius and Pisces. So they have been kind of just watching, observing you, trying to figure out what you're going to do, what they should do, but they're ready to take some action now. All right, let's get your yes or no. Are you ready, guys? Take a deep breath. Focus on your question. Yes or no for my Aquarius friends. Yes or no, Aquarius. That's a no. I hope you guys wanted it to be. You guys take care. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today.